we're loading up for a, for a show in Jacksonville. And it's going to be three shows, actually. It's a lot of gear. It's moving across country. And it's got to be packed and, and it's got to get there in time. So, trying to get it all done. Sir? Well, we're taking two trucks on this one. Less contact with people. One to the arena, one to the hotel. Typically, we only have one truck, which fits everything in from edit gear, octagon, hotel equipment. But because we have to have multiple setups, we're bringing more equipment. So for a normal event, we have combined spaces for red and blue corner to use each. Things like that that we're generally, these guys will be mingling and interacting throughout the week. Uh, for this one, everyone has their own individual workout space. So right there alone, instead of bringing four portable saunas, we are bringing 26 individual saunas for these guys, uh, as well as mat spaces that will have separated from each other in individual boardrooms. We're working with the hotel on who's allowed into the hotel, how they enter, how they're screened before they come in to make sure that they're healthy and safe. Um, working with the athletes on minimizing how many people they're traveling with. Yeah, and so the good thing is, is that staff has been really understanding and helpful, and the fighters have been as well. Because um, these guys just want to fight. Next Saturday, it's the battle day, man. It's the big day, finally. This has been the closest that we we have been for the fight, even though this is the third time. <laughs> yes, but we, but we've never been one week closer. Uh, today is our last uh, MMA cardio session. And then really for us today, what we're looking to do is um, kind of push a pace, um, make it to where we can simulate fight rounds the best as possible, and then understand where the red lines are. Five minutes of pain, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, obviously with the, with the quarantine, we've had to adapt quite a bit, um, really for the last six, seven weeks. It's just been myself and Francis and um, Lagoy Ivanov as our sparring partner. So we, uh, we tightened the bolts, and it's really only been a small group in here. Drop now, let's go, get on him, drop now. It was a lot uh, stressing, frustrating, and uh, just different, just weird, you know, being in the gym, just two people in the biggest gym. Not many guys do a 16, 17 week camp the way we did, but he managed to get through with it. We finished the camp well. The nice thing about it is, I mean, that's the fight game. You have to be able to adapt and overcome. Hey, hey, hey. Right, baby, hands up, show them. Good shit. So, you know, for us, I think uh, we're prepared for those for those things, and um, it makes us better for that. So I had I had a good time doing it, and you know, I think you're going to see a better Francis Nagano because of it. The gods. <laughs> that ice bath might change your life. Huh? The ice bath. Ice. I'm so big that what I'm gonna go out. It's okay. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> it's not really the fact of uh, anything too important other than just getting your ass in there. <laughs> you know, it sucks. But you know, old football days. <laughs> oh, oh. It's getting colder when you're getting out. Yep. Ah. Yes, <laughs> Good little Saturday, boys. Good little Saturday.
D, first let me drop this to you, boss, because I, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you for weathering the storm, going through what you had to go through, but bringing us something, man. Sports inspire us and motivate us, and we need that now. And this is going to be a, a flat-out slam fest of a fight. Both of these men fight hard, and both of them got great tanks, so nobody gets tired. Yeah, I agree with you. Listen, now, when you're a promoter, you can't go out and say, oh, this is going to be the best fight ever, and th this fight's going to deliver, and, and, and if you put your money down, you're going to get your money's worth on this fight. You can't say that. I'll, I guarantee you. I promise you. I, there's, it, it's impossible for this main event to not be ridiculous. Dana, how awesome is it to say it's 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 fight week? I'm psyched, man. I've been pumped up all weekend for this, so uh, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm excited, and uh, you know, I, I can't wait to get to Florida. When did you find out that Florida was actually the place? Like, the, the, was there speculation at first? When did you get a concrete like, okay, we can go ahead with this? We could. There's a ton of places we could go right now. We, we could, there's a ton of places we could go. Florida is the one that just made the most sense because. Uh, I feel like they were the most aggressive. We got the governor, we got the mayor, we got the athletic commission. We submitted a 30-page document to the governor of Nevada and the governor of Florida showing them how the steps we'll, we'll, we'll take to make this thing safe. And uh, we're willing to share that document with any of the other leagues if they would want to look at it. Um, we're back. May 9th, we go next Saturday, we're back. That's it, we're, we're back on our reg regular schedule. Embedded fight week. Fights this weekend live, finally. I've never taken a fight in this short notice, but I've so I've never trained my body in this short of time. But sticking to like a crazy strict diet and working out two and a half hours a day and not 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 cheating not once not eating a bowl of cereal here or there not having a piece of bread um, which I always do when I have 10 to 12 weeks because you know, I can and it makes me happy and being happy is a huge part of uh, being mentally prepared so training for a fight or this this fight specifically during the quarantine you know my life really hasn't changed very much as far as I have a private gym uh, that's where my wrestling coach comes uh, a couple wrestlers, so there's four of us at that workout. My coach Trevor, he does all my my mitts, my kickboxing, boxing, and a lot of my cardio. So I think even a greater risk to me is fighting unprepared. You know, not training my heart, my cardiovascular system, um, being mentally ready or mentally sharp to step in there and fight a guy like Tony Ferguson. You know, who's who's a, you know who's a savage. He's got his own private gym. He ain't skipping no workouts. What's up, peeps? We just made it here in Jacksonville, Florida. Getting ready for UFC 249. Feeling amazing, man. Trip was fast. Feeling great. But I'll be real, it's actually pretty cool to take a trip out somewhere else, you know, and see uh, the airport was like a ghost town, man. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked to even just be here and just to be a part of it. So, uh, like I said, I'm a, I'm a team. Teamwork makes the dream work, and we're here to do one thing. That's win. All right, man. UFC 249. Coming at you harder than a right hook.